guys, welcome back to Vivant with Dana and welcome back to my trending TV show series. Okay guys, basically this trending TV show series is where I cover different trending TV shows that we've seen and even new ones that we probably haven't even watched yet. But I'm going to be talking about the Roots miniseries that, sh that began on Memorial Day and just finished last night. And I hope that you guys have been following me because I've covered the three parts of out of this four-part miniseries. So I hope that you guys can check out the three videos before just so you can get a clear picture about what I'm talking about, basically. So the fourth part that showed last night was very amazing. I just want to say just all across the board, congratulations to all of the actors and actresses that got to be a part of this you know, new modern twist about how Roots was and the movie and they, I, I, I love that they still kept some elements of the original, but they made it their own and they made it, you know, relatable to us millennials so that we can understand that no matter where you come from or who you are, you have to remember, you know, who you truly are inside and that's what I love about it. And I don't want to be a spoiler because I don't know if you guys have seen it yet because I know that the game was showing last night. So basically I'm going to be talking about the highlights and the key points of, the, um, of part four. Okay, and part four was basically a um, road that left us from where Chicken George was traded in since Master Lee basically wasted all his money and Chicken George was the payment he paid off his debt and then when Chicken George was in England he bought himself free and I believe um, the actor who played Chicken George Regie Page um, is very good <laughs> he's very charismatic and he definitely honed in on the character and even in the serious moments he's um, he conveys this commanding you know spirit about him and I, I love that he transformed from being charismatic to serious to emotional to even charismatic again so I love that he was able to transition from those different stages and also <clears throat> and also the part four <laughs> brought in a familiar face that we know which is Clint Tip Clifford Harris T.I. was in part four and <laughs> he, he was very funny I might say and I enjoy, I enjoyed it I enjoyed his character and I enjoyed what he brought to the Roots um, miniseries and it was nice to see Mr. T.I. in a new light and I'm not saying this is his first movie because he's done several but this is a this was a major one because Roots was is a movie miniseries that has impacted both cultures, black and white. So this was a big leap for him, and I'm very proud of Mr. T.I. for doing that. And what I also love is that this miniseries, even though they didn't show everything that the original Roots Part 4 had, they showed what needed to be shown. They showed that even though you go through hard times, wars, your family split up, that you have to keep pushing forward and you have to remember the dream and everyone wants to be free everyone wants to live in freedom and everyone wants to be able to call a land their land and a bed their bed and that's what I love that this miniseries has shown me that no matter who you are and where you come from you have to know that if something belongs to you rightfully so then you have to fight for it. You can't be afraid of the repercussions because at the end of the day, your generation will see that you fought. Your generation will see that you stood for something. And that's what us millennials need to do. I'm not saying that we should go out there and protest or do anything that can get ourselves harmed because we're needed for the next generation to come. What I'm saying is that we need to use the examples of others, the lives of others, as a stepping stone to where we need to be as people. And just by seeing the fight that Kunta Kente had within him, we need to have that same fight. But not ruthless, but a passion to know that I am free and that I deserve to 
go for my dreams. Because if you want to be a midwife, and if you want to be a doctor, if you want to be a lawyer, and it doesn't matter what age or... <laughs> I'm in the nature, so you're going to see that. It doesn't matter what age or what race you are. You can do anything. You could be anything that you want to be. And just know that this story, this miniseries has truly shown me that I can do anything too. Because I'm 17 years old and I want to be a midwife and I'm going to pursue that dream. And I'm going to make that dream a reality to help another woman in a third world country to have a beautiful experience by giving birth to her baby. So no matter what dream you have, chase it. No matter how big it is, do it. Because Beyonce had a dream and she knew what she wanted to be and look where she is. So we can look at these people, these prominent celebrities who has worked hard to get where they are and admire them and, you know, idolize them in some way. But look at their life. Look how they got there and look at their work ethic. Let's be inspired by that, you know, because that's what they are, that they should be our inspirations. So because we need to be an inspiration to someone else, too. Because it's like a cycle. Beyonce was inspired by, you know, her mom and other musicians. And she's inspiring us. So we need to pass down that to someone else. So that's what this whole Roots miniseries was about. Passing down what you learned. And passing down, you know, the gift of freedom. And the gift of creativity. And the gift of having no limits on yourself. Because what I love that Kunta Kinte said to his daughter Kizzy that they can put chains on your body, but never let them put chains on your mind. Because once you let them put chains on your mind, you're stagnant and you don't want to live anymore. So just know that no matter what happened to you in your life, keep going, keep fighting, and keep on carrying out that dream. And just I hope that you guys love this, um, these reviews, and I hope that you guys love the Roots mini series that showed last night. And I'm pretty sure that's going to show tonight on Lifetime, History, Annie, and LMN. So I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and weekend. And I just want to say thank you so much to all of the actors and actresses and for LeVar Burton for stretching that it's, that it's important for us millennials to see this miniseries and to be inspired by it because so many people has died for us Dr. King fought, Rosa Parks fought you know JFK stood for, stood for what was right and because it doesn't matter what race you are you must stand for something or, or fall for anything so just know that you can do anything and just watch the miniseries and tell me what you think. And please comment in the comments box and tell me what drives you each and every day to chase your dreams. And if you just realize that you need to chase something just by watching this Roots miniseries, tell me about it. And let's start this conversation because us millennials, we the millennials, are the next generation. So many people has died for us, so we need to get it to go, and let's get going, because life is too short to be just, to just be stagnant, you know? Let's look at nature. They grow, they blossom, they bloom, so let's bloom and blossom. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of corny, but let's just continue to grow. Okay, guys, and I hope that you had a wonderful time watching me and what I thought about this mini series. And I hope that this has helped you too. So please subscribe and come back. And if you have any suggestions about which mini series or shows that I should cover, please tell me about it in the comments box, and I'll be sure to watch and talk about it. <laughs> okay, guys, follow me on Twitter, Instagram at True Vivant. And please visit my site, DanaDavis.com, to see all the rest of my reviews and product reviews and even the future past videos that I've done. Please subscribe and watch. And also, please um, enter to win a wonderful bracelet from Uganda from BeForLife.com on my blog, DanaDavis.com. And I'll put that link in the description box because each bracelet that is purchased helps another girl in Uganda to get an education. So... In the, in the marks of Roots coming out, I find that it's fitting that we, you know, pass on the gift of, a, of an education to someone else. So please enter to win, and um, and please enter to win one of my Spark bracelets. And if you look on 
because if you click on the um, part 3 video you can see what the bracelet looks like and the link will be in the description box so you could enter and tell me um, and, and tell me basically what inspires you each day and what motivated you to want to get an education so guys that's it for now and the nature says goodbye I say see you later and have a wonderful day guys <laughs>